So hello, my name is Tomáš Černý, I'm a professor at Baylor University and I'm the supervisor for this NSF uh, project that we have. I'm excited that the students are learning new uh, skills, learning new uh, abilities uh, regarding testing and also related stuff such as enterprise Java development. And I'm looking forward to working with all the students for the next seven weeks. And there are few words that the students would like to share with you. So let's look at what the students are saying. What are your first impressions from this research project? Uh, it's going really well. I mean, it's a new framework, which means it's a little bit difficult for us to learn. It's a really short time frame, so it's like, oh my goodness, we have to learn this so quickly. But I feel like we've been learning it really well. We've been progressing through it pretty quickly. It's fairly similar to stuff that I've done before, and I'm excited to not only learn this project, but be begin to add to it and begin to continue to work on it throughout the semester. Great. So can you name some technologies or some things that you have learned so far? Yes, yeah, so we've worked, I mean, obviously we've been working with the Java EE framework. Um, this is also my first time working with uh, Postgre SQL, so that was new as well. Um, but we've been working specifically so far with JPA, JMS, EJB, um, a lot of other Java EE stuff that I don't remember right off the top of my head. But yeah, those are some of the new ones we've been working with. Great, and my last question, tell me the most good thing that you have experienced so far. In Prague? Oh my goodness, there's so much. Um, getting to swim in the pond with Jan was incredible. That was a great time. Just Prague in general is an incredible place. Getting to learn the Czech language is incredible. Um, there's, there's so much uh, about the culture here that's so different than the United States. The public transportation is amazing. So just getting to be in a new culture and have new experiences is really great. What are your first impressions from our research project so far? I'm really enjoying it. I, I really like learning about the Java EE stuff. Um, it's actually really cool, all the automated um, things you can do with Java EE. Great. So out of the technologies besides Java EE, mm -hmm. are there some that you can mention that you have learned so far or some processes? So this last semester, I, I uh, learned a lot about Spring, but here we're kind of dealing more into it. Well, kind of with the Java EE, but um, alongside that, it's also these uh, ser uh, servers that we're also running with uh, Wildfly um, and uh, Remus, yeah, Redis, Redis. yeah, Redis, that's, <laughs> so yeah, it's really cool working with those servers as well. Great, so we have been here so far one week. Mm -hmm. Did you get any cultural shock or would you say, oh, there was something that I thought is so different in mm -hmm. Europe? So when I first got here, the biggest cultural shock would be that not a lot of people were actually speaking English while I was walking around. It felt very foreign, very weird. But now as I've been here for a while, it's kind of, I've kind of gotten used to not everyone speaking English around. And actually, whenever I, I hear people speaking English, I'm like, wow, that's, that's weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Any cultural shock? Um, I, well, just the fact that um, whenever I see someone walking on the street and I like I try to acknowledge them, they just look straight ahead. I feel, I feel, I feel like it's very American to like you know nod to someone while you're walking across the street and something like that. So, so Ash, what are your first impressions from this research project? Um, well, it's been hard, really hard. Uh, the Java EE going into it in like a week, it's been a lot, but it's been pretty fun. Okay, so what would you say that you like uh, the most so far? Um, here one week? Um, the city is really pretty. Uh, it's actually not that hot out, so even though there's no AC, it's it's nice. And um, the women are really pretty, <laughs> and um, it's fun to to explore the city. Okay, and my last question is, what did you like the most from what we have learned so far? Um, I really liked going over the uh, the microservices and making everything component based. It was pretty cool. So, what are your first impressions from this research project? Um, I'm having a great time. Um, I feel like a lot of the time it's been setting things up or kind of like um, organizing all these projects. Um, and I'm excited to really get into it. I'm excited to start these tests. And I'm excited to start doing this research. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of kind of trying to tinker with it and trying to just get it to work. Um, but as a whole, it's been a lot of fun for me, yeah. Great. So out of the technologies, can you name a few that you have learned so far that are new? 
Um, so the biggest one that I've been kind of interested in is obviously the mutation testing. Um, I've done testing before for various other internships, um, but nothing kind of so, I guess, not high level, but kind of so um, intensive, I guess. It's mostly just been, you know, unit testing or testing it manually, which has been um, obviously not as effective as mutation testing will be. So I'm excited to do that one, yeah. And my last question is, regarding this whole experience, what would be the top thing that you can come out with? Um, I'm really hoping that I come out of this experience um, kind of understanding um, the ICPC project as well as the um, just general testing and research and stuff like that. But then I also hope that I come out of this with a kind of improved knowledge of Prague and Brno and just the Czech Republic in general, because that's a huge part of this as well. It's not just, we're not just here for this research project, we're also here as a big cultural kind of improvement on ourselves as well, too. So, what are your first impressions about our research project so far? Um, I would say uh, it's a really good research project. The, um, probably the most interesting thing was learning all of the technologies, so like Java EE, and then um, learning about Postgres, and then Wildfly, and so all of these are new technologies to me. But um, it's a very complicated but very synchronous system and so I think that's probably the most interesting part for me. Great. So, so far you have been here one week. Could you name one thing that was the most amazing or most surprising or most positive? I would say, um, so I really liked, we went and visited uh, Prague Castle um, two days ago and that was very, very awesome. The, um, and then Jan gave us a little mini tour and then we got to also see the gardens right outside. And so that was a very, it, the architecture was beautiful and the city was beautiful. We got to explore down the streets. And so I want to say that was probably one of the best Did parts of it. Did you experience some cultural shock so far? Yes. Um, the, I think I noticed that immediately no air conditioning. So the air conditioning were, uh, was, was pretty important. Um, and then also the water. So we had an incident where we went to go get water at the grocery store and then um, we thought it was normal water and then we opened it it was carbonated water, so that was a little disappointing, but it was, it's a culture, you know, trip, I would say, so it was good. I have two questions on you. What Sounds are your good. first impressions about our research project so far? First impressions of the research project. Um, it's, it's interesting. Um, I guess I didn't really know what to expect for mutation testing, you know. Um, I expected it to be about unit tests and so forth, but I didn't really know what the concept was for mutation testing itself. I didn't think it would be specifically over um, finding out how well uh, like the methodology behind a unit test is. I figured it was more just other ways of making unit tests instead of the, um, I don't know, the pedagogy of the tests themselves. So but I, I thought it was interesting. Mm -hmm. So out of the technologies and all the processes, what did you learn so far? Could you name a few? Yeah. So Overall, for me, uh, we didn't have the same kind of materials in our classes at UMHP, so I didn't learn anything about Java Enterprise, so this is all brand new to me pretty much. Um, I've worked with Postgres servers and things like this before, but never on the administration side, so I feel like I'm, I'm getting a little more um, kind of well-rounded in managing the technologies behind instead of just coding with them, you know, so mm -hmm. things like that, yeah. So my last question, you have some very positive experience so far regarding the trip uh, in taking into account the Prague or perhaps even cultural shock that is yeah, funny. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, the biggest cultural shock is just the absolute lack of air conditioning <laughs> everywhere, but it's been really great. The, the metro, it's so convenient and uh, you know, makes sense just getting around. Um, the people are friendly. I guess the stereotype in America is that Europeans are not so friendly or whatever, but now everyone's friendly and you know, going about their day and um, it's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful city. I love all the tourist destinations and so forth. So, so what are your first impressions from our research project? I really enjoy the project and I like learning about Java EE and the deployment process. And I think it'll be interesting learning more about the uh, testing involved. Mm -hmm. So out of the technologies that we have covered this first week, could you name a few or some processes? Yeah, I mean, testing, obviously, we did Groovy tests with the project, and then the project itself is Java EE. We did Wildfly to deploy it. Uh, just recently for the ICPC3, 
that's Spring Boot as well, Redis, there's a couple others, I think. Mm -hmm. Out of this one week, did you got into some cultural shock or could you name something that you found really impressive in uh, the cultural experience so far? Yeah, everywhere you go, it seems like the building is significant or some museum or some historical landmark, just walking through the city, no matter kind of where you go, it's something interesting to see or do or yeah. And culture shock? Uh, I didn't really have much of a culture shock, I would say. Certainly I had a lot of jet lag, but I think the language is kind of, I want to get into learning more of the language so I can you know, communicate more. But even that's been, I found a lot of the people that I talked to actually speak at least a little bit of English. So it's not really been that much of an issue. And so far, did you have any trouble, let's say, to buy grocery or stuff like that? I haven't had any trouble, no. I haven't bought groceries, pretty much just snacks and then I've eaten out. But yeah, everything's pretty much been okay. Buying my Metro ticket was a little rough because she didn't actually speak any English, but yeah. So I have a question. What are your first impressions in regards to our project so far here? Um, it's interesting. It's definitely not something I've done before. So, I mean, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but I think I'm picking it up fairly well. Great. Uh, could you name a few technologies or some processes that we have learned so far? I know we've been messing with the server and the Java API and the annotations that have, um, and the Postgres database and Wildfly. Mm -hmm. Wildfly. Uh, regarding your experience, cultural experience, did you experience some cultural shock or is there something very positive that's worth to mention? Um, I mean, not really. I've lived in Europe before, so I kind of knew what to expect, but um, I guess in or uh, getting used to living here has been a lot easier than I thought, and I kind of like it better, a little. Why? I don't know, I guess it's, it's just fun, riding a tram and just taking it to the city and being able, being able to walk everywhere, because that's not a big thing you can do in Waco. It's like, you can walk around Baylor, but like if you want to go downtown, that's a little harder, especially because the public transport isn't as big as it is here, so. You are as the only student, uh, the Czech native, and how is it to host your American colleagues here? It's a very pleasant experience to my mind. They are friendly, they enjoy all stuff I tell them, so I'm pretty much satisfied. So Jan, uh, what did you learn so far? What are your impressions regarding the research that we are doing? Uh, pretty much well. Uh, I like that we cooperate with Dr. Buresh because uh, I had him uh, on two courses. I made some good projects uh, with him two or three times. So it's a very good uh, experience to see him again and I'm looking forward that uh, we will make some good projects with him. So I will have my last question. Uh, I will not ask you whether you had some cultural shock, but have you observed that your colleagues, your mates, uh, had some sort of positive or even negative cultural shock whenever you were visiting some place with them? All of them, and all of them uh, were a little bit afraid of moving around the city as such. There is, uh, are there some no-go zones or some gangs? And I said, no, no, there are no no-go zones, there are no gangs, it's a pretty safe city. And now I think they are uh, getting used to it and maybe the, uh, at the end of the trip they, uh, they will be able, without any fear, to move around the city even at night.